Friday Death Photo, Ron McKinney Photography. Um, and uh, just wanted to show how I edit uh, images when I do my uh, color powder shoots. Um, so I'm going to take you through this process and kind of like give you an idea of what I was thinking. You know, when, when I shoot these images, um, I don't, you know, just shoot one shot like what you see here. I continue to shoot, you know, as the powder goes away and kind of like uh, becomes more of a, a, a cloud of powder. But, you know, when, when the powder is just like this, it's just been thrown, um, there, there's so much more texture to it. And uh, this is when I like it the best. So the very first thing I'm always going to do on these images is crop it. Um, just so I can kind of like work with just the area that I want. Um, I'm going to try to straighten it, you know, looking at, uh, at the, the curtain in the backdrop, in the background. And um, just try to get it completely straight. Once I've done that. Um, I have to kind of decide, okay, how far over do I want to go? I want to try to keep these inside the frame in case, like, if they go to print, um, I don't want that cut off. So here we are right here. Um, I, I, I have a preset that I use, you know, that just kind of gets me started. Um, but it's really just like a starting point is all it is. Um, so now I'm going to start working with the brightness and I want to uh, create a lot more contrast with this a lot of the work that I'm going to do you'll see is going to be in Photoshop um, I'm, I'm looking at the color as well you know but uh, a lot of times the color is you know shot pretty well I, I, I shot this with a Nikon D5 and a uh, 2470 lens um, you know, which is pretty much the way that I do my color powder shoots. Um, the next thing I want to do is kick in the clarity as well as the texture. The combination of the two really brings in, you know, um, the texture on these shots. You can just see the difference, you know, when I kick these up. And when I'm doing these, these edits, this is kind of the way that I do is I move it back and forth like this to make sure that this is kind of like the direction that, that I, I want to go, you know, with the image. Um, I tend to work, you know, just in the basic box. Uh, there are times that I'm going to come down here and work with different levels. My, I always start off with that preset with the luminance at around 17, you know, especially for studio shots. Um, and. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where this is right now. Um, there are going to be times when, you know, I want to highlight, you know, some of the color that's on the backdrop back over here. You can use your masking tool, select the brush, and uh, really go to town with, you know, that right there, where we're just focusing only on, you know, the black backdrop where there is color. I don't want to have any fall off there, so I'm going to kind of pick all that right there. And then once we're in here, you know, we may hit the contrast. We may do some additional clarity just to bring in the colors. And, you know, like the, the question you're always challenging is, okay, are, are those going to distract, you know, from the shot itself? So... That's pretty much it right there. I, I've done everything that I care to do here in Lightroom. So I'm going to export this out now. This is the, the model's name is Kendra. So um, we are going to call it Kendra. Uh, class as we're doing this for the class we export it out and it's going to now open up in Photoshop okay so you fit on screen and so now we have it open in Photoshop <coughs> um, there's a number of different things that I do here in Photoshop but the first thing I want to do is 
I, I, I'm looking at some things on her face here that I just don't like. Um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I don't like these lines right here, this one here, this forehead, you know, and we have some splotches here. You can see from her arm that a lot of this is, you know, like from some powder she's already thrown that's, that's, that's on her. Um, and I, I actually don't mind this right here, but the parts on her face is a little bit bothersome to me. Uh, so a lot of times whenever I'm going to work the face, especially with a cloning tool, I'm going to uh, dupe that layer so I can come back to it and work on it a little bit. Clean it up here, clean it up here. I want to do a little bit here as well. There we go. really want to clean up her face, even though this is a dirty color powder shot. You know, and, and now that I've gotten to this point here, you know, I, I can choose, you know, to, to change the opacity of this layer and, and just see how much I want it to blend in, you know, but I actually want it to be very high pretty much everything. So now I'm going to flatten the layer. And now I like the way her face is looking. So here we go. We're going to go view, fit back on screen so we can take a look at it. Um, now we're going to um, kind of like uh, add a little bit of levels here to bring in some contrast. As we're doing this, you can see that this is really going to start turning white. You know, so I have some plans for that in just a few minutes. Um, the other thing I like to do is I like to look at the floor, and right now the floor is, you know, frankly pretty boring. And so what I do with that is I'm going to layer duplicate, and I am going to come in and like 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 add. Add some real like color here, some harshness. This is getting to be a little bit too much here with vivid light, uh, but I like to use these blending modes here um, to bring it in. So we're going to go with this one right here, um, and now we're going to um, mask it. But I actually want to use a Command I and kind of like bring it in myself. So. I'm going to mask it in now. Here we go. We're bringing it in. The flow is only 30%. Let's bring it back up to 100. I want to take it all the way. There we go. I'm working my way around the powder right now. In a moment, I'm going to come into the powder. You can see what it's doing to the powder when I hit it. Sometimes bring in some texture. And so sometimes when I do that, I, I, I don't want to do it at 100%, but rather you saw me just kind of like go over this right here and bring it back in. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna to bring in uh, some of this here. I'm going to bring the flow down just a little bit and just see what this does. You can see it's really brightening it up. Some of this is going to work out really well. I don't want to brighten up this area over here. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to layer and flatten it. And um, at this point in time, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to create a virtual copy of this one here. And what I'm going to want to do is bring down these colors here. I'm going to bring it down um, with this here. I'm in luminance here. I'm going to bring down the colors here. Um, and then I'm just going to bring it down here. Just like that. And now I'm going to export it 
is a dupe use a unique name and one of the things I like about doing it like this is that I can now take this one and just put it lay it right over onto the first image here and then I can get rid of it I can come back to this image here I'm going to layer I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to put it on the top and then I'm going to duplicate it a second time now I'm going to come in and mask it and I'm pretty happy with you know like the way a lot of this is working so I'm going to um, now use this masking tool that's a bit too much even at 30 percent which is what our flow is still we're going to bring it in over here there we go on the fill so each time I do it it's bringing in just a little bit more and then I use this other one right here and I use the opacity to blend in you know where I want it to be so that that's looking pretty good right there okay and now we're gonna like really Punch this just a little bit more. There we go. Bring in the brightness. I really like the contrast on these shots here, but I don't want to go too, too dark. When you start going too dark, you see, you see, it just everything kind of blends in, and and um, you can kind of see how she's bright on this side and really dark on this side here. So I'm trying to be careful about that. You can bring this in right here to bring down the brightness, you know, on the really bright parts of it. So it evens it out just a little bit. And now I think we have a really terrific shot. Pretty happy with how this turns out. We're going to save it. a final I like to rename it when I'm done with it as a final so I can go back and look and see what it looked like uh, when it started and, you know I mean obviously you can go to the history and you know take a look at it here and you can see what you've done with it by going to the beginning there so that's a pretty cool looking image pretty happy with it and uh, that should take care of this so thanks for watching